Alright, here we have another compound inequality. This one is actually a little bit more involved still, but our rules and our goals are still going to be the exact same. We want to get x alone in the center so that we can view it a little bit better. Now notice that before we can do anything, we have a distribution step here. So we need to distribute out our negative 3 first. So we'll have negative 6 is less than negative 3x and then negative 3 times negative 2 would be a positive 6 less than 15. Right now we need to get x alone in the center. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 6 by subtracting 6 from all three edges there. And on the right hand or the left hand side rather, negative 6 minus 6 would be negative 12 less than negative 3x less than 15 minus 6 would be 9. Now we still want our th negative or we want our x rather in the center alone. So we're going to have to divide everything by negative 3. Now when we divide inequalities by a negative, we also have one other step that we have to flip the inequality symbol. So negative 12 divided by negative 3 would be 4. We have to flip the symbol because we divided by a negative. X. We have to flip the other symbol also because we divided by a negative. 9 divided by negative 3 would be negative 3. Now, our compound inequalities, we always have less than symbols because we're talking about things in the middle. And if you look at this also, 4 is a larger number than negative 3. So this is not in the right order. Remember, we always read left to right or smallest to largest. So we really need to flip this completely over so that it looks proper. We need to put negative 3 first and then 4 at the end. Now here, there's another way that you can tell that you're doing this properly. This inequality symbol is pointing at the negative 3. That means the negative 3 is smaller than the x. It needs to maintain that position. It needs to still be pointing at the smaller number. Likewise over here, when it's pointing at the x, it's saying that 4 is larger than x. So we still need to maintain that same exact statement even though we turn it around. Now if we're going to graph this, here's 0. We're talking about negative 3 on the left and 4 on the right. So we're talking about all of the x's between negative 3 and 4. So that would be all of these x's here in the middle. Now there's no equality on either one of these symbols. So that means we'd have parentheses on both sides. So here's our graphical answer. For our interval notation, we can write it directly off of the graph. Parenthesis, negative 3, comma, 4. Close the parenthesis. It should match very similarly. For our interval notation, or not rather our interval, our set builder notation, this should be the set of all x's such that negative 3 is less than x is less than 4. Remember, our answer there really matches our interval, our set builder notation rather.